off low key. Yeah, you know me. Kick it with Tyree, hit a three like Kyrie. All right, guys. Thank you guys for tuning in and kicking it with Tyree. I got my guy here, Chicken P, Chicken P Miller. Wow, <laughs> yeah. How you doing today? Good, man. How you doing? Great. I already started off with this one question. How you get started with music? I used to ride around with my guys, bro, my boys. We used to just listen to nigga shit. Then, like, I'd be freestyling over nigga shit, bro. And them used to be guys and be like, bro, that shit cold. You need to rap, bro. That shit cold. And a lot of nigga shit. You need to rap. So I just started rapping, bro. Uh, what was the first uh, song you recorded? Pressure. Pressure. So I know, uh, well, the first one I heard you off of was, uh, I think it was Lately I. Then was the first. That was, that was, that was. 2016. I think that was the first time I really started listening, listening to you right then. And ever since then, you've been pretty much building it up ever since. Hell yeah, gotta keep grinding for sure. Yeah. I know you, uh, I just saw on Instagram, you have a billboard sponsorship. Tell me a little bit about that. Uh, the Ricardo Amore yeah. shit. Uh, no, one of my old school guys, he had just hit me. He like, uh, let's put something together. Uh, I need you to do something for this little liquor shit. So at first, I'm like, the fuck, man, I don't do no motherfucking shit. <laughs> but then I thought about it like, shit, why not? My nigga, he doing this thing, he trying to get this shit off the ground. Then I just came together with bro, we put that shit together. No shit, we can see where it go. See where it go is gotta get that 50 money and that uh, Diddy money. <laughs> oh yeah, later right on down the line, for sure. Uh, I know you uh, are working on dropping a tape. Uh, Strictly Fifth Street, that should come out November 20th. November 20th, uh, what's your favorite song off the tape? I don't know, bro. I like started off uh, off the muscle, off the muscle. For off the muscle. Sure. I've been fucking with uh, Post to Do for a minute. Yeah, Post to Do hard too. Yeah, it's a lot of hard ones on the song. I'm gonna <laughs> take, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I'm waiting on it. Uh, November twentieth. November twentieth, man. It's been a long wait. <laughs> waiting ever since Billy. For sure. Uh. So who are your, I know your, some of your influences are uh, P. Miller. Who are your influences other than P. Miller in music? Shit, no, bro. Like when I was younger, coming up, like, uh, like uh, certain shit, like Dolph. I like how bro B. He handled business. Yeah. Like when, I don't know, like when I used to be younger, it used to be different, bro. Cause I used to actually look up to niggas, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, you know, before you old enough to know certain shit and shit like that, I'm looking up to niggas, so. But now I don't be looking up to niggas, like, cause I be understanding that shit, we all capable of the same shit. Niggas yeah. just be yeah, they in just, positions. They just got the uh, opportunity before you, and I you just- feel me, that's it. <laughs> that's all, it all takes is space and opportunity down there. And uh, I was, uh, I know, how has P. Miller kind of influenced you to go independent? I know you have uh, kind of... No, just because I seen how he started, bro. Like, all them niggas, bro, like... It's a couple. He went the only one did this shit, but like... Like, this, selling their tapes out, their trunk shit. Like, all that shit, but that's real grind, bro. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like, when I first dropped, nigga, I was doing all that same shit, bro. Like, I created my buzz in the streets first, nigga. I know you were selling CDs yeah. at first and kind of so, got hot off of that. I used to ride around with big ass box, nigga, like <laughs> a thousand CDs in that motherfucker. I'd just be, it's like some, like if that was a young fun, I'd give you that shit, but like I was selling them motherfuckers. I was buying them too. That's that's when you know you got real fans as well. So, they bought a CD. That's your real fan for life. Yeah, like, I heard niggas that was certain niggas that was coming. They was thinking it'd be like certain certain niggas would spend like a hundred by ten CDs. Like mm. it's just on some showing support shit. So, like that shit was. That's good. what's up. That's love. Uh, 
since you started, how has kind of Milwaukee music progressed? Anyway. We still kind of like, at the same standpoint, to me, you ask me, bro, but we got more attention. Now it's more attention, like, more like industry attention. Like, it'd be more, sh like, you know what I'm saying? It's a little bit more light shining on this motherfucker. Cause motherfuckers been doing their thing. Like, you see, like, Lakia, she just got signed. You feel yeah. me? Like, they watching this motherfucker for sure now. But, like, as far as, like, the music, that shit's still the same. Man. Yeah. Niggas still stop rapping about the same shit, bro. <laughs> it's still the same, bro. Uh, getting into another question. How have, uh, hold on, let me rephrase that because I was about to say that stupidly. <laughs> um, kind of since you've been back, uh, I know Fast Catch Baby was one of your biggest songs, really. Like, that, when I first heard that song, I was like, it reminded me of Lately I because of uh, where you went with the vocals. Oh, yeah. It's, that's what intrigued me about it. What was kind of your process in recording that song and how did that come about? Bro, like when I be recording certain songs, bro, like if I get like a melody that come to me, bro, I just put that shit on the beat, bro. Like, I don't know. When that song, that was supposed to be an intro to, I was supposed to drop a mixtape called The Fast Cash Baby. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. And that was going to be the intro to the song. I had recorded like 20 songs before I went to jail. Really more than that, but like 20, like 20 songs for a project. You feel me? Yeah. And then I left open verses and shit for Jig, like, like a certain shit for Jig to get down. And I put a little CD together. I was going to drop it while I was in jail. You feel me? But bro never, he ain't never finish up on the songs and shit. So I have, I did that song. That was one of the songs I did before I went. And I'm in there like, shh, I'm just like, you know what I'm saying? Like just playing around. And I did that shit on the beat while the auto tune was on. And that shit sounded good. So I'm like, I'm finna do that shit for real, bro. I recorded it. I put one verse on there and left it because that was supposed to be the intro. Like yeah. I said, when I went to jail, Jig heard it. He was like, man, hell, I got to get on that shit. <laughs> he put his verse on there and shit. Somebody leaked it before I came home. Somebody leaked that motherfucker. Shit, that, <laughs> uh, kind of. I always been waiting on a, a video for that. Is there a video coming for it? <laughs> hell yeah. I would tell y'all how we gonna do it, but I fuck nah, don't, for y'all. Don't tell nobody. <laughs> it's all good. I just feel like that video got so much recognition, and it. I feel like one day I looked, it was at a hundred k. Then the next day it was at two million, and it was like just like that. Had three million now. Yeah, it's at three million, triple platinum. <laughs> and for show. Sure. How do you uh, plan on moving forward with your career? I know you're uh, trying to get more push into the industry. How do you plan on going, moving forward? Spending my money. <laughs> Spending my money on that shit, bro. That's all it takes, cause shit, now I got, I got, bro, I'm doing numbers just like them niggas, you feel me? Like, mm. Or more, more numbers. Me? So it's point. like, it ain't hard. All I gotta do is put the paper where it go and shit, I'll be out of there. Like, all I'm finna do is just put this shit in people's face. That's what you gotta do. Like, it's 75% marketing and promotion, too, so. You feel me? Like, yeah. So. Cause you got garbage ass niggas that ain't coded at all, but they, that nigga, cause how they market that shit and promote that shit. And that's all it take. It's 25% yeah, yeah. skill. The rest is the business. Exactly. So how do you plan on moving forward with your uh, really rich empire? Is do you plan on starting a label and how did that all oh, coming yeah. coming about? Shit, me and bro, me and my brother put some shit together. Came up with the really rich shit. Like it's hard to explain, but yeah, hell yeah, 
we a label. We building that shit right now. It's gonna be something great, man. Like Death Row or some shit in a minute. Oh God. Yeah. And uh, I always throw in a couple of random questions. Uh, what are your? I know you said you don't watch TV. You watch more movies. What are your top three movies? Below paid in full. Barely. Why those three? Cause like when I was growing up, I used to love them type of movies and shit. Them was the ones I love the most. Like the stories they tell. Stories they tell, they tell crazy stories. That's what's up. I know you say uh you wanna start you said that you wanted to get away from the slap rap and start making hits and start making songs. Uh, and then I'm mad I said that because I got a real slap rap hit. <laughs> you feel me? Like, I ain't mean it like that, but I just be want to make songs your motherfucking auntie be cooked to clean up, you know what I'm saying? Real yeah. songs, bro. They ain't trying to hear that catch Jackie ass shit. <laughs> yeah. Songs everybody can listen to. Yeah. And it's you can play at the cookout, all that type you of shit. You feel me? Like, shit like how the, the baby, little baby. You feel me? Like, mm -hmm. how them niggas putting out, you know how you can play that shit. Old bitches gonna listen <laughs> to that shit. Young bitches, young niggas. New, I'm trying to make universal music, bro. I, I definitely feel that. And uh, how how do you plan on uh, kind of pushing your career in 2021? I know that Just you working, 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 bro. Like, Cause this year I could have went harder, but I did good this year. I did pretty good this year, I ain't gonna lie. But next year I'm dropping like seven projects. Go crazy. Man, like plenty fucking videos, features, all that shit, bro. And I'm going to every motherfucking little event, the South by Southwest shit, nigga yeah. rolling loud. If any of that shit going, like, Cause the corona shit, you know, be fucking up. But if they got any of that shit going, I'm going to all that shit this year, bro. I ain't playing. I ain't missing. You nothing. can also do like virtual shit too. Cause I saw those. They had like a Rolling Loud virtual concert, and it was some weak ass niggas there. I ain't even gonna lie. Like yeah. they, they just. I feel like they just picked who was in L.A. Like they was just looking for who was all in L.A. Yeah. And they put some weak ass dudes on there. One dude performed the baby song. Like it was he performed rock star. Like, I was like, where they get this dude from? I don't even be understand how, understanding how they pick the lineups. I feel like, do you feel like Milwaukee is kind of forgotten about in a way? Or we just got to uh, turn, turn up and make our way? We got to just turn up. Like, they know us, bro. We ain't forgotten about, bro. It's stars that came out this motherfucker, mm. bro. Jacob Lattimore, K. Kemp, uh, Sincere. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, there's plenty of niggas that done did some shit out of here, bro. Like, motherfuckers just, we got to turn it up, bro. Like, all these notice had like, Chicago. They know Chicago. Mm -hmm. They know Detroit. You feel me? We right there. They, they know Milwaukee. They just gotta. Us, bro. Yeah. If them niggas know us, bro, I got niggas in Detroit, bro, that I fuck with heavy on the music side. I fuck with me heavy on the music side, bro. Yeah. So I know if they listening to me and they hearing this shit, the people that's listening to them probably hearing this shit, bro, nine times out of ten. You feel me? Yeah. And then it's kind of spreading off from that because I know that. I saw that Sada Baby was playing your song on his story type shit. If he listening to it, you know that. Everybody else is right. Around that's that's so solid. Like, you feel yeah. me? Like he got a whole song with Nicki Minaj. Right now. You <laughs> that's get what when I'm you saying? know. You, like, that's when you know you blown up when you be like, on a song with Nicki. Hell yeah! Like but I don't, I don't, I just stay humble about it, bro. Because it's like shit. It's music, bro. They listen to my music. That's what mm -hmm. I'm making this shit for. That sooner or later, bro, that shit gonna catch the right motherfucker gonna hear it. Then it's like, bro, with Fast Cash Baby, like that's a Milwaukee hit, bro. Like. Mm -hmm. That shit ain't not even saying that's a Midwest hit, bro. Just wait till like Florida or Texas or Atlanta or you know what I'm saying? Get Catch, hit to yeah. some shit like that. They gonna still have the same that first feeling you had when you heard that first time. They gonna, they have gonna that get same it, bro. Shit. It's gonna be new to them, bro. So I don't be worried about it. It's like I done seen interviews, bro, like Rich Homie, Yellow B like Yellow Beezy said that 
That's on me, baby. That shit, nigga. They, he said that song was four years old, bro. Mm -hmm. Before it blew. That's you crazy. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. Re Releasing that shit and uh, yeah, marketing bro. it at the right time. Everything is timing. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I feel like it's definitely going to take off again and hit 20 mil, Easy. 10 mil with ease. For sure. It was good. Uh, kind of, I know you're a storyteller. How do you st tell your story through? The music. I think about shit I've been through. I think about shit I know the other niggas been through, bro, and I just talk about it. Without mm -hmm. saying too much, yeah. Put yeah, it on the a, track. That's a pretty good explanation, yeah. Uh, a couple more, more questions I had about kind of the Milwaukee landscape. Do you feel like it's kind of separated in a way? I even say segregated. But I feel like there is like these award shows and stuff like that that are built almost segregating kind of the music scene in a way. They'll have like best hip hop act, best blah, blah, blah with dudes who only got like 19K like uh, video views versus dudes who got millions, you know, who won't even be on that list or top hip hop rapper. How do you feel like we can kind of bring it all together? It's always going to be like that, bro. And it's fucked up to say it, but it's like, shit. Me, personally, I don't give a fuck about no yeah. award, bro. You hear me? Like, yeah. <laughs> no top five, top <laughs> three, none of that shit, nigga. I don't care about it because I ain't making music to be better than you. You mm -hmm. feel me? Like, I ain't competing with you, bro. Or Two different once leagues. everybody get that type of mindset, then it'll come together, bro. But, like, niggas don't be, man, niggas be trying to be better than the next motherfucker. Be just wanting more fame or more something. It always got to be more or better or, you know what I'm saying? Like, niggas, it's just that's how I be. I don't even show up to that shit. I don't indulge in that shit. I don't even got Facebook, bro. I don't, any of them awards, nigga, if I got any, ever got any of them motherfuckers, I don't know nothing about it. I don't got no plaque for the shit, none of that shit, bro, I don't care. Yeah. You feel me? Cause it's like the people gonna say what they gonna say regardless. Fuck this list, nigga, that they gonna know who the fuck, how they feel regardless, bro. You feel me? That's just yeah. like, bro, that's just like, bro. But the stats don't lie. Like, that's just like you trying to say. Uh, fucking Derrick Rose. You might like Derrick Rose. That might be your favorite player, but that's just like yeah. you saying Derrick Rose is better than Kobe. Yeah, he, the stats that, stats don't lie. You feel me? Yeah, like, one year. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit don't lie, bro. Like, you might get this award this year, but the stats don't lie. You feel me? Like, Down the shit. line. Yeah, yeah Down the line, bro. You, like, see you might get an award for, for best hip hop or some shit this year, but, bro, the stats ain't gonna lie, bro. If I'm putting out a song and my shit doing a million views, that proves who's better. Yeah. Like, shit. <laughs> If you put out a song and that shit do 10,000 motherfucking views, I put out a song and my shit do 100,000. That's proven who better, bro. Yeah. Like, that's proven who they want. It, who they want. You feel me? Like, fuck them awards. Man. Yeah. That's how I, I feel know. about it. But people be just having it. Mm -hmm. I feel like everybody got an opinion. And really, they just need to take in everything for what it is. And yeah. Take it in and just live. Instead of like, Criticizing everything and having being so opinion that you just gotta take in greatness for what it is. Yeah, you, know? you got some people who will congratulate you on that shit. And you got some niggas that just don't want to see that shit at all. But that's for anything in life, bro. For sure. Fuck niggas, that's how I look at it. Stick to you. Uh Moving on from that, uh, I know you got some industry features coming up. And, uh, who do you plan on making music with in the future? Everybody. No, let me stop saying everybody because some of them niggas fuck niggas. Uh, I got plenty of industry features. 
Let me cut. Bro, I want to do something with Kodak, bro. Future, little baby. Rollo. Rodriguez, not Rollo. Not saying it like that. I yeah. fuck with Rollo, but Rollo Rodriguez. Is he signed to QC too or he signed to uh, Baby? He signed to Baby, or I believe. I don't want to just be saying no extra shit. No, no. He might be independent, you never know. Yeah. But, uh, Thug, nigga, Key, bro, there's plenty of niggas I want to work with. I, ain't gonna lie. I feel like you and Thug would go off on a song, you know, like, just because of how both of you, the range on both of y'all, with both of y'all would be, be crazy. Yeah, I'll go crazy with Thug. I'll go, so I'll get in my mode on this from some shit with Thug. Definitely. Uh, man, there's plenty of them niggas though, bro. I just like doing music, bro. Like, you know, like, bro, that shit, that shit give you a certain vibe, bro, certain energy. I'll be liking that shit. Definitely. I know uh, some of your top producers that you work with is uh, Richie, Richie Slims and Mellow Drop and Dirty. How have you kind of built that relationship with them and over time? I started with Mellow. Mellow did my whole first tape. You know, me and Melo kind of got big together. So it's always been. And then Melo always tried it. Like some people be talking about Melo, Shiesty, and all this shit. But one thing Melo gonna do is handle that business. <laughs> like, he gonna make sure that paperwork there, bro. You know what I'm saying? Everybody get their share how they supposed to get that shit. I fuck with him. That's my boy. That's my boy, Richie Slim. I met him through Mellow. And shit, we just got cool as fuck. Them niggas cool, shit. I fuck with Tay Love, Vito. Me and Vito, that's my boy too. I don't put a lot of work in the food basement. Uh, Tay Love, though, that's my nigga too. And he like, Instantly, whenever I call him, tell him I need some fire, that should be like five minutes be right there. <laughs> All right, I got you, quick. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, real fire though, like, I can make a slap song or an industry song to some type of love shit or Vito shit, like, you feel me? Like, mm -hmm. that's how I be. But that's how I got close to them niggas. That's what's up, that's what's up. I'm gonna uh, take a break quick just to uh, make sure everything's still running. Thank y'all. Ducked off low key, yeah, you know me. Kick it with Tyree, hit it three like Kyrie. And we back. We back. Chicken P, mm -hmm. kicking it with Tyree. Uh, how do you want to be remembered at, when it's all said and done, when you retire from this rap shit? As a legendary humble nigga, man. That's it. I want to be legendary, bro. I'm trying to do shit niggas ain't did, bro. I ain't gonna lie. You already there in Milwaukee. I just feel like you, you right there at that barrier where you just gotta hustle, hustle that way through, and that's what you know how to do pretty much. Hell you yeah. Know? So I just be. That's why I said 2021, bro. I'm going hard the whole 2021, bro. I'm just going to show niggas. Show it definitely what's up. What uh, What are kind of your goals for yourself outside of music, even in business, stuff like that, whether it's doing... I'm trying to buy some fucking land. Buy me some land, dog. I'm trying to get some real paper, bro. I'm ready to just enjoy that shit. Buy me some land, build me big ass crib for my family. And then, All that type of shit, bro. One of the only things I be worried about, bro. I don't, be, I don't really be having too many other. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel that. And uh, kind of how has your experience uh, through Milwaukee kind of prepared you for the life? Man. Yeah. 
I done been through everything you could go through in this motherfucker, bro. Like, so I be ready for the industry, like, them scandals and all that type of shit, all the bullshit that come with that shit. I done been through it already at, at my beginning stages of my career, you feel me? So yeah, they do like, that shit to you here, so, so it's like, once you get there, it ain't gonna matter. And I know how to play shit now. You would never catch me slipping on no slipping shit. On mm -hmm. nothing, from no aspect in the game. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. I'm gonna be on point from every direction. Like, I don't play that shit no more. That's that's what this shit done taught me. This shit get wicked, bro. You gotta be real life. Ready, ready for this shit. Straight headed. For sure. I know you talked about uh, in other interviews moving out of Milwaukee. Where do you see yourself in the future? Oh. Arizona, some motherfucking where Cali is. Some. I don't know, some Miami. I don't know. I don't want to be here no more, bro. I ain't going to lie. And I just say it like that because I love my city, but I'll grow this motherfucker, bro. I'm too big. I ain't got time to be on the news dead as a bitch because a motherfucker done shot my car up on the freeway or some shit like mm -hmm. that, bro. I was like, hell no, I got to go. I definitely feel that. We can't have that happen. You too big of a artist and you a legend in this city. You like, feel me? Like, there, I don't think there's any rapper or artist, artist period, that kind of compares to the numbers that you put up. You know, so it's like, when you see stuff like that, like, what was his name, uh, Mo or something like that in Dallas? His car just got shot up. Yeah, see, Mo 3, bro. Like, yeah. Then, like, they, they shot Marlo shit up on the freeway, bro. Like. Niggas be in their hometown, you feel me? Yeah. Like, that shit be happening at home, bro. Like, not saying like a nigga scared of that shit, because I do that. I ride I mean, this shit every day, you feel me? Yeah. But it's different once a nigga got millions and you around the same niggas that been hating you your whole motherfucking life, the same niggas that you been into it with your, your whole life. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, niggas, new niggas that don't like you now because of who you is. Like, but they been new you, though, you feel yeah. me? Like, it's it's kind of that they know the area and they know what you in. So it's like you gotta kind of yeah, kinda, bro. I, and then even if they don't, bro, it ain't shit. It ain't shit to find out, bro. You gotta understand, bro. We all fucking the same little bitches, all that shit. Yeah. So like, if we are here in Milwaukee, we fucking the same bitches. This bitch might like you a little bit more than she like me. Enough to tell you some information about me that'll get me killed. You yeah. feel me, like? You never know, bro. Nigga don't even got to know what you got going on, bro. Motherfucker get some information through a motherfucker. Or be on your Insta, be on Instagram watching your every little fucking move. You feel yeah. me? Like looking at your background and surrounding. Niggas play, bro. I, I done been around. Nigga. I done, man, niggas play crazy, bro. I definitely feel so that. you got to, man, fuck I, all that. I definitely convince you, bro. Uh, I know you going to do gigantic things. So kind of in and off, kind of tell everybody what you got coming up and what they can look forward to from Chicken P. I got the Strictly for the Streets on the way, man. I got another tape on the way after that, but I don't know what I'm going to name that shit, but it's already done. And I got merch coming next month, December. Y'all be looking up for that. <sighs> yeah. That's what's up. Uh, I That's it. Off strictly, strictly for the streets. Kind of what? How you come up with that concept for the project? Cause, bro, this finna be like my last little hardcore tape. Something like, like for the streets. I'm finna switch it up after this run. Get that real tape, bro. Industry tape. I ain't finna play. I definitely feel that. And again, bro, I want to thank you for coming out, bro, and doing this and uh, sure. showing love for sure. And I wish you uh, all the luck on your travels, bro. And again, thank you for coming in. Thank y'all for tuning in and kicking in with Tyree with Chicken P. Show. Have a good one. One. <laughs> Ducked off low key, yeah, you know me. Kick it with Tyree, hit a three like Kyrie. 